love them or hate them, run flat tyres are here to stay. So what are the pros and the cons? And what happens when you get a flat run flat? Well, BMW are the largest fitter of run flat tyres as original equipment, and they've agreed to help me with a little experiment. I'll need a car. I think I'll take this one and a drill. So essentially run flat tyres are self-supporting, meaning that if you do get a puncture, you can keep driving without the rims touching the road. But to give us a bit more of a detailed explanation, this is Prabs, a BMW genius here in Sydney. Now Prabs, explain to me what are run flat tyres and how are they made? Like you exactly said, they're self-supporting. So the part of the tyre that touches the road is still exactly the same as a conventional tyre, but the side walls are much more reinforced. They're made of harder rubber, and that's what keeps the rim from touching the ground when you get a puncture and the tyre does lose air. Is there more steel integrated into the sidewalls? There as is, well? yes. Okay, so tell me, what are the pros of having run flat tyres? Uh, well, the, one of the biggest pros is if you do get a puncture, you don't need to come to the side of the road, stop, get a spare tyre out of the back. You can keep going to where you're going up to 150 kilometres. I've actually had some personal experience with it. I was on my way to work, pouring down rain, got an indicator on my in on the screen, and I just didn't bother. I just kept going and made it to work eventually and the car straight to service. Oh gosh, every time I've had a flat tire, I've had to literally stop on the side of the road and change it. So run flats might be a good way for and me And that day was <laughs> drenching. Now it also increases the cargo space because you don't have the need to take a spare tire. It does, yes. Um, so it saves a lot of space in the back, saves weight as well. Does it have an effect on uh, like the fuel efficiency of the car? In the long run, yes, because with the decreased rate of the car, you do get a lot more mileage. And what about the negatives? Like run flat tyres do cop a bit of flack, so yep. what, are, um, what are the cons? I guess the biggest one is um, the ride quality. It's a little bit firmer than what you would get on a normal, on a conventional rubber tyre. So can anyone just chuck a set of run flats on their car? Uh, no, the rims have to be specifically for run flat tyres only. Okay, so to experience what happens when you get a puncture in a run flat tyre, we've grabbed the 218D Active Tourer. We're going to take it out on a drive loop around 40 k's. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to puncture the tyre and head out and do the same drive loop again to see how different it feels. Okay, about halfway through the first leg in the 218D and just getting to know the car a little better, how it feels. We've headed out of the city on some of the main roads that were a bit smoother, through some urban streets and over some speed bumps and round roundabouts. And the 218D is really quite smooth. It is firm, but it almost floats over all of the bumps. So with that as a basis, uh, it's going to be interesting to feel what the difference is when one of the tyres is flat. Okay, Fabs, this is the fun part. We're going to drill a hole in this tyre. Yep. What do I need to know? Okay, so the car's going to notify you that it's going to actually indicate which tyre is losing pressure. So once you get that alert, you have to make sure that you keep your speed under 80 kilometres per hour, uh, find a service centre, okay. and then get your tyre changed. So um, what am I going to feel from it? You will definitely feel something if it's in the front tyre. The rear tyre is not so much, but steering will definitely be altered a little. Okay. Can I drill the hole in the tyre? Oh, of course, yeah. Excellent. That's the drill. And of course, safety first. Yes, absolutely. So that doesn't matter. Can I drill it anywhere? Um, to get the best effect, I guess, go straight into the side wall. Okay. Um, and you can do multiple holes if you want. Oh, I feel bad doing this. All right, ready? Uh, okay, so I can feel that. So that tire is now losing a lot of pressure. Okay, I'll take it for a drive and see, um, see how we go. Sounds good. Midway point of leg two and this one with the punctured tire and it's very obvious that there's something wrong. Uh, the steering is very heavy. It's pulling to the right and the front right hand side is the one that's got the puncture. Okay, now it is comfortably handling those speed bumps, roundabouts and corners and I do feel confident that the tyre is more than capable of getting us to where we need to be, which is a BMW service centre or a tyre retailer. We have had it up to 80 k's an hour and still full confidence in its capability. So looking at it, it's very obviously a flat tyre. You can see where it's worn down to on the road, even over those 40 k's that we've just done, but nowhere near the rim and that's exactly what we want. Now I do think that everybody still needs to learn how to change their own tyre, but the big advantage of run flats is you don't have to if you run into problems or if you drill a hole in your tyre. 